Laravel tool and React JS data table. Let's start the create project first of all. Open your terminal. start or react let's build in authentication paste php unit okay yes we need to install npm open project okay okay after create this project let's create the data tables database with our database create the laravel database and with root users and then go to the create some packages install some packages open your terminal in your base code or any editor you have to use terminal configure Bit for Laravel tool. Mm -hmm. Open your project first of all in browser. Table are missing, data path is missing. Oh, miss connection. Table is not. SQLite MySQL MySQL What is this one? dashboard okay oh. let's see the light mode you see that yes right issues no controller user controller I think here is a uh, one factory let's create a temporary data user factory right so yes we are decent tinker Let's see the database first of all. The hundred users have been created or not. Okay, we have hundred users uh, here. Let's make a control first of all. Okay. 
let's create one public function first of all as a index request request as a request okay. and then create how many per page like request input per page and then search for source then sort we need here sorts then direction for direction then let's make a query for user table okay queries then user table input query and then when source source function we need to query and search then name by source or we need to search by email okay two type sorts we need here and then add class of things here no and query is equals to order by order by sort and the direction okay one more thing we have to use first of all by default this is id and this is ascending order now descending order okay then we need to get as a pagination users is query has a per page per pagination and with query string also okay then we need to return Inertia render. Okay, we need to send users filter resources for a page, then source and direction for a page, and we need to another is page also. Okay, request input page default it is one then we need to send another if permission can okay create true printed also true delete also true if needed okay that's it and then let's make another is public function let's do later this function so let's first of all only tables to create so where is the users index when we go to resource and uh, we have here types user types oh okay already have then go pages we need to create users then create index dot txx okay yes index dot txx after that Uh, let's use this dashboard component first of all copy this one and go here and uh, then create one routes okay if you want to new route required don't add 
name something or okay now we can create i'm not creating now i am creating route resource i'm creating for users controller okay import user controller user controller classes on mr added that permission let's remove now mm, direct users let's see first of all the route also we have then go to component sidebar add new sidebars after dashboard users 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 then here need user icons users icon this is our form then let's see the output okay and let's go to users users going uh, still showing the dashboard why because of we are copying the dashboard this one right so here is users and make title users users and same here users okay and we just index is coming